Hey, what's up, YouTube land? Um, I have some pretty bad news about um, online scanners, and I'm actually making this video so um, nobody out there becomes a victim of this online scan that's been going around here in my community. Um, I live here in Ontario. Um, let me go through uh, the first couple days when they had contacted me um anyways i was on this um youtube where i seen elon musk quantum ai computer um so i actually went on to uh, their platform and um signed up uh, on to this pop-up that came onto the computer right so, uh, when I filled out that application, they wanted my um, email f first, and then my phone number. So, after that, I had filled all of the information out. I gave them all that information. Uh, a couple minutes later, my phone rang, and there was some guy, and I talked to him for, like, you know, about a good half an hour to 45 minutes or something like that and he you know claimed that he worked for um a quantum ai computer for elon musk and uh you know i quite had been questioning him and he seemed like he had an answer for every single question that i told him asked him and um so anyways i was like yeah sh i mean you know <clears throat> Who won one extra king income in their house, right? So I decided to um, sign up for it, and a few late, a uh, few minutes later, a woman called me, claiming to work for the same department, the same company, but in a different department. I mean, um, forget what it was. It was a different department. She was saying or whatever, and. Um, from there, she got me to download AnyDesk, which I have been on sort of a platform like AnyDesk, because I've been on WSIB now for a few years, and um, I was doing Pathways, and pass Pathways did the same exact thing. They were able to go onto my computer using their computer, right? So anyways, I had no question to ask that lady, and... Every time I asked her something, she uh, had an answer for everything. Like, she knew a lot about Bitcoin and all this kind of stuff. And, um, so who who was I to question, right? She seemed like she knew what she was doing. She was acting like a professional. Like, I could also hear people in the background, too, also making calls and talking to people and stuff like that. So I thought she was actually, you know, a legit stock trader and um so anyways my first deposit was ten thousand dollars don't ask me why i they put enough confidence in me to do that you know you really have to watch out for these people because they're really ruthless people like they don't care who you are how old you are if you have kids anything so very be very wary of online phone calls emails saying you want something and you have to give the money to get your stuff you know there's plenty different scams out there that i just want the world to be in all of right so that's why i'm going to be making videos now every day Every day I want to make videos so I get my word out there to people to do their due diligence to not get caught. Or, I mean, to not be scammed. And for these people to get caught eventually, right? As of now, um, I've contacted my local police, filed a, a report, um... Uh, TD Bank, um, you know, send me basically told me there's nothing they can do about it. 
And um, right now I'm physically disabled. I'm, I was on WSIB, but they had cut me off saying that I was done with my get back to work thing, which I can't even work. Like, I got to... They cut my back open, like, from my L2 all the way up. Like, I got over a foot. Uh, I'll show you guys this in the, in the next video that I make. Um, yeah, and they knew all about that, too. They, like, they even talked to my son. You know what I mean? Like, and I was always saying, yes, I'm going to have lots for my son's future. He's going to have everything that I never had when I was a kid. And I'm now 37. And broke. But, um, yeah, anyways, I, I, I just want you guys to know that. And, um, do your due diligence, especially the elders. You have to make sure you have to watch out for your elderly. You know what I mean? Especially they are targeting elders and stuff like that. But I filled on that online application, which probably was a spoof. Um, I, I've contacted Google and gave them the IP address and all that kind of stuff. So hopefully that they shut this thing down before somebody else gets scammed, right? And um, they also use WhatsApp, right? And you will get phone numbers from people cl claiming to live um, in Canada. But really, they're living in, in, like, Pakistan or wherever, you know what I mean? They're just sitting in a hotel room they must have like a whole bunch of names and, num and numbers and email addresses that they that they s get from people so uh, i'm just down man amount i have no money they took all everything like they they even had control on my credit card they put the money from my credit card on to my checking account and even took that so yeah here I am now making these YouTube videos this is my very first one I exactly um, there's going to be many more to come I just want to get the due diligence out there I want people to learn and know and how they do it and and how they make you really really believe that you're actually dealing with a real company like you know what i mean like the woman that called called from a 4 a 141 or 1647 number that's a toronto number so i'm um, i thought it was real but Hey, I guess you're, I, I didn't know all this now, but now I know that you can spoof your numbers and all that kind of stuff, but there has to be some sort of a trail, you know what I mean? Like, like something has to be done. Our Canadian government has to do something about this. We are losing too much money in our economy buy these big scammers like I talked to like somebody already they said already this year 2023 as of August the 2nd they've already seen a 536 million dollar they lost 600 some 60 56 or I forget it was lots it was almost a half million dollars over half million dollars already to year 2003 so I want you guys all to be aware I'm gonna keep making videos I'm gonna get, get the word out there and uh, hopefully these uh, people see these videos and 
whoever ripped me off. Hopefully they see this video and see if I, you know, if I seen that person today, it would he it would not be good for him. I'll tell you that. And anyways, thanks for listening. Uh, tune in tomorrow. I'm gonna keep making videos until I find a job or something. So anyways, thanks for listening. I love you guys. Uh, stay safe. Watch out for scammers. Alright. Have a good night. Bye.